Uh, my name is Jack Kramer and I'm with W.L. Gorn Associates. I'm part of the Enterprise Leadership Team and I'm our Global Technical Leader. I, I think we experience a lot of times uh, the, the situation where we develop new materials for a certain business and they don't tend to work out for that business. Uh, and, and that's what comes immediately to mind. Uh, the example that I gave in my presentation this morning was around a material that we developed for a pump diaphragm that, we, that never really met its full market potential. I, I won't say it was an unsuccessful business, but it wasn't, quote, a successful business for us. Uh, we modified that product for a chem bio, chem bio suit application. And again, uh, we achieved some market success, more market success than what we did with the pump diaphragm, but still probably not the full potential that we, we would have liked for it. But the fact that we had developed that product for the ChemBio suit allowed it to be sitting there on a shelf uh, ready to use when we discovered that we had an endo leak problem in our aortic uh, stent graft mm -hmm. business. And we very rapidly were able to solve that problem uh, and uh, we had actually pulled our product from the market until we fixed that problem. If we had had to develop this new product uh, at the time, I think, uh, we, we wouldn't have had a chance. Um, by some measure, our, our, our probably our, uh, the, the thing that really catapulted the company was Bob Gore's invention of, uh, of Gore-Tex. And uh, the story there is that Bob was trying to make a better pipe thread tape. Uh, and he was trying to make it more cost effective, improve the manufacturing operations. And he was, he was trying to introduce some air, some stretch into the tape. And so he was doing a lot of work with rods where he was heating them to very precise temperatures and drawing them at, with his hands at very slow rates, trying to make them stretch. And they kept on breaking. The PTFE kept on breaking. He couldn't stretch it. He couldn't expand it. He couldn't figure out the right window to do it. And uh, he, he's never fully admitted it, I think, but at the end of one day, he got very frustrated, grabbed this hot rod, and <laughs> went like that, and discovered that it was very rate-dependent process, and very high rates are what allowed uh, PTFE to be expanded. So again, working on pipe thread tape, which we very shortly thereafter were out of business, but trying to do something and discovering something, probably out of frustration, although he's never said that. Said that. Um, are the kind of things that come to mind for me uh, as, as the kind of mistake, you know, either mistakes or failures or just things that don't live up that we find another opportunity to, to pursue elsewhere. So to manage uh, failures or setbacks during the innovation process, I really believe you need to have persistence patience. Uh, many of our great best innovations have taken many, many years, up to a decade for us to, to realize the full benefit of. Uh, you need to have a short memory. It's very easy to get hung up on what you've sunk in cost-wise into a project uh, and, um, and, and not and not be able to see beyond that. And so therefore, we've spent enough on this, we're not gonna go forward versus making decisions in the moment. This is one of the things that Bill Gore was always, you know, we need to make the best decision that we can today on how this opportunity looks and where we're going with it. Uh, we can't, we, we, we gotta have some short memory on what we've experienced so far if we still really believe in the opportunity. And so I, I think it's, if, and, Another thing that we have talked about was, this, was the concept of we were going to work on things that, had, that if we got one-tenth of one percent of the opportunity that we envisioned, that it was going to be a great thing and we would stick with it for a long time. Because even if we were grossly wrong on being able to capture a big chunk of a market, if we could capture one-tenth of one percent and we were going to be happy, uh, that's something we should just stick with because th that was the way we could, could maybe come up with a big theme that we were going to go after. So always look forward. You got to pay attention to what you've learned, um, but but don't dwell too too much on the past, and, and be able to kind of objectively evaluate uh, your projects and your businesses going forward. You know, we really believe that focus uh, is not a bad word. 
discipline is not a bad word in innovation. Uh, we've had some of our greatest successes when we really gang people up on, on a big opportunity and get a critical mass and, and focus them in a certain area. And, and it seems sometimes that that's an oxymoron with cre creativity and entrepreneurialism uh, in a company, but uh, we really believe that it's more about channeling all that creative energy in the right direction. So we put a lot of energy into articulating what's really important to us, what's really going to create value for the organization. Um, we do believe that you need to innovate within within a framework and within some constraints, uh, and that that's, that's really important. It's even more important today when you expect things to pay off. It's also important to identify something that you're going to be great at. I mean, you need to be the best. You want to be great at, and you're going to be willing to stick with it for a long time. If you're going to focus all your efforts in an area, pick an area that you have something that you can leverage, a strength that you think you're already very good at or the best at, or something that you want to be the best at, and stick with it and go after it. I think you have to expect a lot of failures. Um, I, I heard people talk about celebrating failures. I, I, I can't really think of, an, of a time when we've celebrated failures. Mm -hmm. We tolerate failures. Uh, we tolerate well-intentioned and, and, and good failures. And I'll say a good failure is one where we do learn something new. Uh, it's where we don't just learn something that, that the person could have learned by picking up the phone and calling somebody who tried it a couple years ago. Right. Okay, so if, if we're really, if it's bringing new knowledge or we learned something that's different, it's a different experience for the company, um, and it was well researched, well tried, well intentioned, good discipline, good focus on you know what was really important to learn in that, and 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 we learn we can't do it, or we learn some new information from it, we tolerate that, we accept that. What we aren't very happy about is relearning the same mistakes over and over again, or the same failures over and over again. So, so we don't really celebrate mistakes. We talk about what we learned a lot, um, and, uh, and, and we tolerate things that allow us th to learn new things. But we're a very competitive organization, so we don't really celebrate failures. <laughs>